Hello friends, so today I'm going to be doing a bit of a random vlog. I just got to editing this and I filmed this like a week and a half ago. Originally this was intended to be two vlogs. One was going to be like an adulting nursing student week in the life and then another one was going to be like trying to make fun foods, whatever, something like that. But I only got a few clips from each so I just thought we'd make this a vlog and it's over the span of two days so it's not like it was super far apart or anything. The first half is going to be the day that I took the HESI so I made breakfast and then talked about that and then showed you what I ate for lunch after that blah blah. And then later I try and make boba. <laughs> I made this stir fry and Sarah came over and we had that. We went on a little adventure and got all cute and took pictures and things like that. That's about it. I really liked what I captured so I just thought that I'd make this just a regular old vlog and not anything specific. So yeah, I really hope you all enjoy the video and let's just flash back to like two weeks ago. I have to watch my toes like a hawk because this is from Goodwill and sometimes it pops up and sometimes it doesn't. Oh yeah. See? I like almost burnt toast. So basically today I'm taking the HESI, which is a major part of determining whether I get into nursing school or not. It's not the only factor, but it is a major one. I'm just praying that the Lord will bring back everything I've studied. Last night I literally fell asleep on the living room floor studying <laughs> and it was eight o'clock. And then I got 11 hours of sleep last night and I haven't gotten 11 hours of sleep in a long time. So this morning I've just been like taking it slow, got ready. Now I'm gonna eat a good big breakfast. Normally I wouldn't really eat this much, but it's just because the test starts at nine and it's a four and a half hour test. I don't have to stay the whole time if I finish early, but I'll probably be using every second. I'll have good healthy fats, grains, some salt, pepper, but I don't really think pepper does anything. I'm gonna dig into this breakfast. I got my comfy outfit on so I can shed this guy if I get hot, but these pants are thin enough where I won't get hot, but they're also not short so I don't get cold. Got my watch on. I'm not really sure I'm going to use it because it's on the computer so I feel like it's going to have a countdown or at least a clock, but I don't know. They literally haven't told me anything and I guess I'll see y'all after I take the test. Oh no. Yeah. And we're celebrating with a vegan pizza. Oh yeah. This is definitely the best way to celebrate an 85. Hey guys. So I definitely ate that entire pizza but it's fine. I did the HESI and I got an 85. I'm very, very happy about that. I don't think I'm gonna do anything for the rest of the night. I'm just gonna kind of chill. I might finish my essay, possibly. I need to just chill because the last four days that I've been off work, I've been studying. So I think it's okay to take a break. I'm gonna go to church tonight. I guess I'll vlog tomorrow. I don't know if this is gonna be kind of like a week in my life plus a few things that I eat or what. If you wanna see what I eat in a week, that'd be... Maybe I'll do that next week whenever I start my summer class. And honestly, I might start looking over stuff. I emailed my professor to see if he had a syllabus yet, and he doesn't, but he did tell me what the first test is going to be over. I'm going to start class Monday, and the test is going to be Friday. So that's like really intense. <laughs> Oh no. Literally have nothing else to say. All right, we're gonna try and tackle some mango boba. I only have frozen mango, so I went ahead and thawed some out last night. A fourth of a cup. Sugar to taste. I'm gonna do just shy of a tablespoon. Two tablespoons of tapioca starch. I haven't used this guy in forever. And then a tablespoon of water. So then I'm gonna put this on a plate and microwave it for a minute. Here he is. He looks very, oh, interesting. And then we're supposed to do half of a cup and this is just a fourth of a cup. So we still need another half. Oh, what the heck she mixed with, but I guess we'll just mix with a spoon. I feel like I'm burnt. <laughs> just gonna stick it through. Okay, I'm gonna do just shy of half of a cup because I don't know how the heck this is supposed to work. Hers also looks so smooth and there's like no nothing on the bowl. Like it's just all, it's all in there. I think I've played with it too much because it was doing good. It doesn't really taste like very strong of mango. Like how did she just do that in like five seconds and it not stick to her hands? I'm gonna cover my hands in tapioca starch. Oh yeah, that really worked. You should do that. Start with clean hands and, <laughs> okay. 
Now I have to roll out my pearls. She didn't do the whole thing where you're supposed to like roll it out, but I think I'm gonna do that because I don't got no time to just individually roll out everything. Okay, well she's not really rolling out like I thought I'm doing. <laughs> it's literally just sliding back and forth. Oh my golly. Like literally boba for days and I should have done more mango. I feel like this is too big to go up a straw. <laughs> so now I'm supposed to cover these with water and microwave them for three minutes. Look at this. That's not the same. Here's the moment of Why does it smell like pasta? She said stir and then microwave for another two minutes, but there is no goo. She's going back in. It's still just like water. So we love that. What the heck? Mine do not look like that. She says to let them rest for 20 minutes now, but mine already don't look like that. Oh wait, okay. So it is a little sticky. It's just not as visible as hers. So I just took the mango puree out and I'm gonna make my matcha in here like as it is. I'm just gonna leave the mango stuff in here so that I don't waste it. And also it can infuse some of that flavor into the actual matcha. And have some water. I'm gonna put a little less sugar in here than I normally do just cause there's sugar in everything right now. I put the water in here and then a teaspoon of matcha and I blend it. I've tried to just use the whisk, but it just does not work. I cannot stand clumps. <laughs> And then I fill this up to this line, which is just a one cup line that I marked on there. And because I use the water, I use less milk. And I give her a good shake to make sure she's sealed. And then blend her a little bit more. Now the matcha's ready. The puree is ready. Just gotta wait a few more minutes for these guys to be ready. And it says I'm supposed to drain and rinse these. There is definitely gel in here. It doesn't look like it. But I just don't want these like white spots on them are. I feel like those are parts that aren't cooked but we shall see i kind of have a feeling these aren't gonna fit through my straw and i'm just gonna cover them with mango puree and we're just gonna go in with our hands and we're gonna microwave this for 30 seconds and then put it at the bottom of our cup there's our boba oh no she just does not i'm just gonna eat one by itself oh it's so hard like do you hear i don't think that's meant to be digest but you know we gotta get the thumbnail i can always just drink my matcha without the straw and not get the pearls in there this is a freaking cute reused pasta jar okay then we're gonna put some ice cubes in here and then shake the matcha up are you ready for this money shot oh yeah went right to the top too this looks like when i made my peach matcha what a good time that was let's see if these little guys can even come through the straw and I was definitely planning on like showering and being cute for this segment. But I was like, oh no, I can just make the cute part later. But I didn't realize that obviously I'd have to taste test it when it was done. And we're not looking that cute. But you know, it's fine. She needs a good mix of it. Let me at least try it. I haven't gotten any boba yet. I definitely <laughs> made it too big. Like... Boba is not supposed to sound like that. I'm just gonna get a small straw because I don't wanna drink this much matcha this fast. I mean, the mango puree did something. <laughs> so I say just make the mango puree and put it at the bottom of your matcha and call it a day because that was not worth it. This isn't gonna work out. It's really fun. I just need to accept that that did not work. I mean, I still have all those other ones rolled out, so I might as well give it a shot. Maybe I could boil them. Maybe this girl is just trying to be like, everyone could make this, like no matter what appliances you have. And I respect her for doing that, but she really made it look too easy because then I thought I could do it. Why? Why do I think these things work at this point? <laughs> It's fine, I'm fine. I really love this glass though. Okay, well I'm gonna go sit on my back porch and do work and then shower and then I'll be back later when I'm making my stir fry. Oh my gosh, guess what? It's like a week and a half later and I finally tried to put the boba on the stove. And so what I did was I boiled it for 30 minutes and then let it rest for 30 minutes. And they literally are so soft. Like they're literally like freaking boba. I actually chewed one and swallowed it. The unfortunate thing is that they don't taste very good, but hey, you got the concept. Now I just know, I just gotta boil it on the stove for 30 minutes, let it rest for 30 minutes and do probably a lot more mango because there's not really any mango taste. It's really just chewiness. We know it works now, yeah. 
Sadly, I'm not gonna eat them right now, but I just whipped up some mango puree and I'm just gonna store them in that. So hopefully the mango will infuse a little more in it. I just realized I have not vlogged anything, but I'm starting to cook. All I have is one clove of garlic and then a little bit of onion sauteing right now. And then I'm gonna put all of these heaping veggies in and then I'll cook these noodles. Oh yeah, that's a big pan of veggies right there. Gotta be gay. Don't get in it. Just get a good scoop. What? You look cute. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should make another batch of this sauce. Because she's kind of dry. Oh, yeah. You're really getting it. <laughs> We're living your best life as a video videographer. Really get this taste test shot. Put it in the heat. Put it in the Yeah, it's that beautiful sunset. It do be golden hour. My hair is so cool. Wait, I feel like this could actually be a cute picture. But I need that smoke to be focused because I just love it for some reason. Oh yeah, there's the smoke. She's so cute for some reason. And there's so many bugs crawling on my legs at this moment, but I just have to get that smoke in that sunset. All right, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. Even though the boba didn't work out at first, I literally just tried it today and actually boiled it and it worked. I have yet to try it in an actual drink, but I shall do that tomorrow. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. And just let me know down below what videos you wanna see from me. If you wanna see what I eat in a week, I might try and do that because I love watching them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.